Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, I was MIA for a week, but I'm back now. I really just didn't have anything much going on. I started to film a vlog and then it, it like I didn't have much going on, but it got really busy. So at the end of the day, I didn't have any footage for you guys. But here we are, we're back. I am watching a little bit of like a course video. I'm also going to do my own nails. Uh, they're just grown and really need done and the cuticles really need done so badly. I don't quite know what color I want to put on, but I was thinking um, Black It White Pearl was on the menu. As is, I'm such a sucker for like light pink. The glitter bells, the unbelievable gels, flawless. Also, such a sucker for a navy blue. That's so pretty. Marine. I don't know. Anyway, so I'm gonna do my own nails, but what you're gonna see me do a little bit later is some cleaning. We need to organize, we need to clean. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. This is what we're dealing with here. This is bad. This is horrible. We have nail art, we have headphones. Oh, we have camera batteries, wipes, tiles, you know, fingers. I am going to do my best to make short work of that. It's gotta be done. Those rows have to be done. These rows back here have to be done. It's all gotten out of hand. Usually when I do that sort of thing, I do it kind of because I want to. This time it needs to happen. It's just another one of those chores. I might do it this afternoon. I might also do it tomorrow afternoon. This week is a week for filming. There are certain things that need done this week. I have paperwork that needs done. I have ordering that needs done and I have cleaning that needs done. And I'd really like if I could take you guys with me for all of it. Let's do my nails.
guys. Okay. Let's do this. I got one hand done. You would have seen maybe a little bit of footage, but my battery or memory card went kaput and it stopped filming. Not sure which one was which, but I changed out the battery and everything appears to be working. So I think we're good. Let's just do this. We're just gonna dive in and do it. I have my garbage can right here. I wish I could prop it open, but I kind of can't. We're, ju we're just gonna do it. I got my foot right on the garbage can. Let's do it, let's just do it, we gotta do it. Literally, it's just a lot like a band -aid, right? First, Lysol-ish wipes. Oh, jeepers. We're just gonna take those out. For right now, we're just gonna take those out. I am going to use them, I'm certainly not going to waste them. This uh, came with the last big monomer that I got, and I'm going to keep that because I feel like this could be quite useful. This, I use all the time. Tip cutters I use a little bit of the time because I actually don't use tips, but I do use them when I'm doing like models or when I'm doing mystery manicure monologues or stuff like that. My tile, I use that for mixing paints. Okay, let's just take the pencils out of here because they don't belong in here. Writing utensils at all don't belong in here. I think that's it. White chalk markers. I used them, if you've been here for a minute, I used them at Christmas time to do a little mural on my window right here. Will I use them again? Probably. So I'm not going to throw them out, but I am going to put them over with the rest of the stationery. This Little tripod does not belong in here. I have no idea how it got in there or why it got in there. Obviously, I put it in there. This has got to go elsewhere. Stickers, This is. these are actually for the store. They have their own home, and right here is not where that home is. Old file. Yeah, I keep an old file. It's used, and it's mine. <laughs> it's the one I use on me or on uh, my practice hand. I have a couple of gloves and same thing. Those aren't meant to be clean. Those are gloves that I like clean with or just use to protect my own hands. Another file that's just for me. A couple more that are just for me. A few more that are just for me. An empty bag, an empty bag. Those were for practice fingers. Uh, things for tickets I bought. A little cover for a plastic thing from Ikea that I am literally never going to use. Uh, another buffer, again, like for practice hands or for me, I'm gonna throw that. That one's in pretty good shape. That's also in pretty good shape. Put that there for now. Pretty good shape. Cover off of something, going. Oh my God, that's like practically a buffer. Um, wow. These have been hiding back here for a minute. Oh, good Lord. This, oh God, it's not even close. This is the candy jelly. So this is the e-nail couture um, to put on crystals with. That's a no for me. Yeah, just Christmas nail art on a tip. More receipts for tickets that I bought on something. More files that are just for me. Another one still in the package, so I'll keep that. No. Ah, uh, okay. So when I'm using like a prey art inks or anything that I need a little dish, I use this shot thing. <laughs> It's fine. Um, okay, a note. I always write down um, like what, oh, I remember this. Okay, so I'm always writing down what gel polishes I'm using and I'm always just putting them on random um, pieces of paper. This was when I was doing the Care Bear nails because there's the Care Bear star, <laughs> but I don't need that. Um, this is eyeshadow for my Ooh, practice hand to make it more oh my 
God, realistic, holy. Okay, to make it more realistic um, on the knuckles and stuff, I use some of the browns. Um, that's actually a really nice palette. Anyway, okay, I'm not, I don't need any more palettes at home. Okay, wire for probably picture hanging, but you know, um, no, just let it go. Okay, we're letting it go. Today we're letting it go. Um, two tips that I have a random amount of nail art. Okay, I am going to cut this for a second and use my uh, air tool to clean the dust out of here. Welcome back. <laughs> so these are the my files. So my files are gonna go, you know, right back where they were. So there's nothing wrong with where they were. Another writing utensil. Um, and the gloves are gonna go right back where they were. Because again, there was nothing wrong with where they were. The eyeshadow can go where the practice hands go. This, same thing. It doesn't really need to go anywhere. Along with my palette. The wipes, I'm actually going to set out up here because I'll just blow through those. I can definitely use them. They just got put in there and, you know, out of sight, out of mind. The chip cutters, I'm actually going to put in the back as well since I don't use those often. I have a practice finger that is going to go with the practice hands. Those are available at Air Nail Supply, by the way. So here I have brushes, another marker. Those are from marble, of course. These really are all brushes that I use at some point. Like, I really don't think there's anything in here for brushes, there's another tip, that needs to be thrown, like honestly. Um, these are my glitter bells. Fancy art brushes from the Nail Throne. Link will be in the bio. So those are fun. Um, a cap off of something, what we're not sure, but we're gonna throw it out anyway. Yeah, oh, little tip. So I'm gonna put these back in here. because They're fine, like that is okay. The clippers I don't use on clients. These are for actually just cutting things. Um, this is my Crystal Katana. I've had it for ages. And I also use my Christy Meekin Crystal Picker Upper. So I have a couple of those. These are tips, the general size tip that I use with the practice finger. So I'm going to push those back into where the practice hands fingers are. That buffer I'm gonna throw. Okay, we have some drill bits here. These are drill bits I'm not using anymore, and I remember th throwing them in here, um, but they don't need to be in there. I'm gonna put those with the rest of the drill bits that I don't know what to do with, and we're gonna deal with those later. Uh, more brushes. That brush is in rough shape. Uh, we'll talk about it in a second how to fix that. I'm gonna show you, you see it? It just got all mucked around. I didn't keep the little plastic on it. And it doesn't have a cover. Um, I'm going to show you how to fix that in a second. Um, you know, there's a couple of gel polish brushes in here that need to be thrown out. Okay, so these are, <laughs> I don't usually let go of brushes, but these have been through it. Like, these have been through it. And I'm really not using them anymore. These are the Light Elegance gel polish brushes. I've had them for years and years and years and they just need to go. This, I need a new set of these. Like look at the handle on that. But it's because it's the wooden handle. I didn't on purpose get the wooden handled ones. I wanted like the ones that you can get with the plastic handle. But so of course every time I touch it with my gloves that have acetone or whatever monomer on them. Anyway, it's rough. A tip stand, or sometimes I use it for my practice finger when I'm doing stuff, so keep that. Headphones are 
a must. I use them all the time. This is the tip off a brush. Is it blown off of this one? No. We'll throw that out. More headphones. It's super glue because I was like fixing something, <laughs> but this can actually go excuse me, in the actual kind of junk drawer that I have for those sorts of things. These are little tip tabs for press-on nails. I'm not using those right now, but I have a whole drawer full of press-on nail stuff. So I'm gonna throw them down there right now. Deal with them later sort of thing. Uh, another set of tips, but these are the exact ones that I use with the practice finger. So they tend to stay up here. Because they're separate, I know which ones they are and I don't have to worry about them. Glitter that I mixed up doesn't need to belong in here. Tips, um, pretty, super pretty, um, don't need it. Another tip, oh bunny, yeah, he was, I did a reel with him. By the way, reels. If you see a business, and I don't just mean mine, or salon, if you see a business small business especially that has made a reel, go ahead and like that. Because that reel, that's a couple of posts back on my Instagram with this bunny, took like an hour to make that reel. So if you see a small business that has a reel out there, maybe just, maybe just give them a like. Because it probably took them a long time to make it. I'm going to leave this tip, um, you know, thing up here and this one because I grab for them a lot. And then these are the sticky tabs that I use. If you look down below for my Amazon store, these are in my Amazon store. Get them, God sent. You only have to order them like once a year because a bunch come, but they are, I don't even know if you can see. They are those little tabs and they're amazing. You can use them for literally anything. Okay, so that's it. Close the garbage can. Put this back where it belongs, I dropped it. And then yeah, there's those. So, there's another little piece of plastic tip that I missed. Oh, and a dime that doesn't need to be in there. What is it when you find a dime? Someone that's missing you is thinking of you? There we go. Okay, that's that. Let's talk about this weird brush and how to fix it. Okay, I'm over at my sink and what we're going to do is take the brush and run it. See, like it's obviously a mess, right? Like that's not usable. Throwing that sucker right out, aren't we? No. First, we're gonna try something. Is it for sure gonna work? I don't know. Does it usually work? Yeah. I'm gonna turn on the hot water. The hot water here is like something you could make tea out of. You probably can't hear me over that, sorry. But the hot water here is really, really hot. There's dust flying around because I was cleaning. So, ah, let it run. It's super hot. Here's what we're doing. I am gonna just let it run under the hot water. Just let the hot water like run by it. I'm just gonna turn it a little bit. Okay, check that out. It's not perfect, but it's better. All right, check it out. That's pretty good. Okay, so that's how I fix brushes that are all wonky. So now it's okay. I'm gonna set it out and let it dry and be more careful with it in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed that little bit of clean with me. We're probably going to be doing more of that in the future because winter was long in here and I stashed a lot of stuff and I don't need to. It just makes life harder when you're looking for something and you can't find it or when you reach for something and you have to actually dig because you've buried it in stuff that you don't really need. So I'm going to put away the few things that I did leave out for myself. All of these things have homes and I will be able to navigate better knowing where they are so the next time I need super glue or price tags or that gold and silver glitter that I mixed, I'm going to know where to look for it. 
So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Leave me a comment down below if there's anything you would like to see, and I'll see what I can do about it.